Hey everyone! Welcome hey. to Anderson's TV. Uh, my name is Pete. My name is Ariel. This is Acoustic Paradiso, and today we are looking at some. I mean, the world of acoustic pedals have, in recent time, exploded onto the market with loads of, uh, you know, the Boss AC10, the T Rex, uh, Soulmate Acoustic, Soulmate, Acoustic Soulmate, Soulmate Acoustic, yeah. and now the Zoom AC3 and. Brrrr, AC2. Yes. This one here. So these are exactly the same. Uh, 169 for this one and 269 for this one. Same sounds. We're gonna we're gonna focus on the big guy. Yeah, I mean there's there's more in this one than than there is in uh, in the one here. Uh, they're quite clever, right? I mean, finish, you know, you can say, you know, 269, you get what you pay for. I mean it's all sort of stick on wood finish here but mm. i guess that's because it needs to be an acoustic thing so they want to want to make it look like look wood. like wood uh cool features uh of both of them is that they take batteries you can either charge them uh run them from batteries you can run them from a 5 dc usb mini port so if you've forgotten your um your batteries or your double charger a's for too. it double, double a's. a's uh you can you can uh, you can use your phone charger for it, you know, Amazing. so that's pretty cool. So if you lost, oh no, I left my charge at home. Can you lend me one of those? So that's cool. Um, it's got ground lift and it's got a balanced out this one. It's got uh, outputs, one is mono uh, and it's got the guitar on the other side. Then you've got a boost and a tune and mute on this one. And then you literally set it up. This is, that's it for that one, right? So I thought this one we won't check in, uh, plug in because it's simply the same thing. But the cool thing about these, yeah. I'll put this away, is that now we're looking up at the camera up. <laughs> no, no, that was gonna happen. <laughs> now we're looking up the camera up there, um, and this is the AC3 Acoustic Creator. So you've got, you've got essentially three switches on uh, the bottom here. Uh, on the side, you've got a left and a right output, so it's stereo, nice. which is really cool. Uh, we've plugged it in to the um, XLRs here, left and right stereo. You've got a ground lift and you've got a um, like a pre EQ out whether it's going to be pre or, or, or post, and then you've got a as now all this stuff uh, with um, eco modes, right? So mm. EU regulations say that you have to be able to have an EQ uh, an eco mode that means that if you're not using your electrical device in a certain period of time, it has to turn off on its own. Mm. I don't know if it's a health and safety thing or whatever or it's just you know it's pretty good if you're running batteries and then i mean if it goes off on its own i guess but there's some of the tube amps we've got in here that if you leave it on it'll just turn itself off huh. like hughes and ketten for instance in, in the they they have to build in a, a power down really? mode so if you're if it's not getting any signals through it for a certain amount of time i think it's about half an hour or something it'll literally just turn itself off which i guess it's not a problem if you're not using it if you're not using it as and, long as it doesn't do it when you're playing yeah that's the problem it won't or something. do hopefully it won't do but anyway so it could it's handy if you're running batteries i guess cool um same with this one you can you can uh, power it from your batteries or usb usb or whatever. guitar in here yeah. and on the top boom layout you've got the three knobs as we talked about you've got the tuner knob which also mutes so if you just pick a string there you go yeah Good enough for rock and roll. Good enough for a 12 string guitar, which is always a bit sort of. Yeah. And then you've got an effect section here, so it's laid out pretty cool actually. So you go Bosch, Bosch, Hello, Boost on the other side. So, and then you can set your, your pickup, whether you've got a piano. So we've got a PS PSO yep. in this one here, which is an on the saddle thing. Uh, or you can turn it off, or you can have a magnetic pickup, which is the one that sits in your sound hole. So you can, pick, you can choose what you want. It's got a clip, so if you, when you play, you can see the signal coming into the thing, so it won't distort when it goes in and out. So that's pretty cool. Then you got equalizer on the top, bass, middle, treble, Boom. easy peasy. You got some effects here. You got chorus one, chorus two, tape echo, analog delay, delay. You got some hall reverb, mod reverb, tremolo. tremolo, and a pad, which I'm not quite sure what it is, but we'll get to that in a minute. Yes. On the other side, you got output volume, so how much comes out. And then you have got your uh, reverb mix and tone, which is pretty cool. Now, moving on to this bit up here. So this is, this is what you can do with a guitar. We got a 12, 12 string, so we set the source guitar is the 12 string. So we'll set the source guitar on the 12 string. Then what you then can do is, then you can then 
target guitar and pick. So if let's say you want to play, let's say you, you play it, um, your guitar now. What it does is it tries it to emulate an OM28. I guess we can probably figure out what that is. OM28, probably a Martin. And then there's a D45. D18, D28. Obviously, all these guitars aren't yeah. usually 12 string, but no. I mean, but but what you do is so that the, the you set your guitar. So you've got a silent guitar there, which is the Yamaha thing where you can yep. stick your arm right through. Uh, an upright bass, you can use a bass for it. We've also got a nylon string guitar here. Uh, funnily enough, I'm not seeing Taylors on here. That's weird. Huh? Hey. Anyway, I, who, who knows why that is. But it's really cool, so you set your source guitar, which is the one, I assume it's the one that, the, uh, it's a target guitar, one of the most powerful things is that it can make a current guitar sound like a completely different body altogether. Yeah. So that's really cool. So, source, target, boom. I mean, so that's really cool, and you don't have to EQ anything, we're leaving everything on 12 Leaving it flat. And you can hear, if you play again, for instance, I'll go at J45. Uh, or I could go a uh, F55. Or I can go a triple uh, 018 with mahogany back and sides. And then I can also go more treble or less bass. Or I can say everything in 12. It's got a little, uh, uh, it's not the couche in, in there, so when you get to the center, center de ton. Is, it, is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> is it not called a center de ton? You're laughing at me. It's called a center de ton, isn't it? Center de ton? You know what I mean, though, when you turn it to 12 and it goes in. Uh, it goes, huh? <laughs> it goes, that. So let's just, uh, you play a bit. I'll All right. get the. Uh, <laughs> I mean, well, that's really cool. It sounds great. I mean, we've got a little speaker in the room in Yamaha DBR10, where, where, which we are listening back to. Yeah, sounds and I think nice it sounds great. I'm and loving can, it. It feels yeah, good. It feels good. It's, yeah. it's, you know, I mean, 269 quid. Not bad. Not bad. A lot of um, effects. A lot of stuff. So that was the reverb I sort of dialed in a little bit there. Um, now, it has got, so what you saw me do, I was sort of fiddling with his knob over here. Um, you can see the little clip light going on mm. so what I did was I was taking down the volume of, of the signal coming in here and then I was instead I was then giving the volume up on, on the output so yep. you don't get the clip coming out so it could clip I mean it didn't clip it didn't sound like it clipped anyway um, so how many times did you just say clip clip I think it was like 26 clips so Let's move on to the uh, effects. Now you're still playing this this guitar here. Yeah, uh, it sounds great. I mean, oh, we I never use twelve stroke guitars, and no, it's we just lovely. we change it up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so let's try just some of the effects. So you just click the effects on. Here we go. And then you can you got your effects level and your depth and your tone, your feedback, and I guess time rate uh, decay. So that will be depending on which setting you're on. Delays, reverbs usually have the decay. Okay, so let's let's have a listen to what it sounds like. This is the chorus. Mm. 
Nice, right? Love it. Chorus number two. Okay, lovely. Uh, actually, I'm just going to turn the compression down, see what that does. Uh, Tay Beko. Nice. So your rate, you can control the yeah. delay time, nice. Analog delay. I mean, yes, delay. 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 So nice, I'm just going to turn this down here because we're going to go into the whole reverb. Nice. Oh, it's got the it's got the trails. When you turn it off, you so, get the trail. So let's have a just go, eh. and then on, off. Yeah. Hey, does it do that? Handy. With the, let's see if it does that with the delay. Excellent. Great feature. Right. Uh, mod reverb mod. Tremolo. Nice, and let's see what this pad is. Oh, oh. shimmer thing. Oh, one of my favorite effects. I mean, that's great. Those effects are awesome. So, other side, um, compressor. Let's just hear what happens when I turn it all the way down. Let's Why wouldn't you want that on all the time? It just feels and then, good. Immediate feel good. It feels good. Uh, and, and then boost. 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 So up to 9 dB, so all the way off. Just for Trippy. those uh, for those little solo moments, right? Yeah. I mean that's really cool. Right, cool. Quickly, let's just because so before we end, 
Let's set this to uh, the nylon string. Yeah. And then see. Oh, that's Maybe a lot of let's output. Bring that volume down a bit. I don't want, I just, can we have the pat thing? Okay, so here, this is a good, this is a good time to test this because when we got the boost on, I want the feedback because this has got, mmm, this has got a built-in anti-feedback thing, so... Let's see if we can find a place where it feeds back. There you go, so... Feedback, no more. How cool is that? I mean, this is the thing that I've seen in the um, so the, the the Martin Performing Artist series have had this anti-feedback built into their Fishman system for mm. a little while, and I can imagine this is kind of a similar way that it goes in and find that frequency. You know, if you've got a drummer and you're playing along and it, the whole thing feeds back, or the bass goes in, click it down and leave it to to find to find that. That's really cool, That's man. Awesome. I mean, that, that sounds great! Great for that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Playing, I mean, that's man. really, 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 really cool. That's that sounds great. I mean, I love 269 that. quid. Very affordable. Um, all in one. All in one little box there. Take that, put that in your gig bag. Put that in the gig bag. Put that in the gig bag. Put it 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 in the gig bag. This is gonna be so good. Gig bag. Yeah, put it in the gig bag. And uh, gig bag, gig bag, gig bag. Put it in the gig bag. It's a weird word when you say gig bag many times in a row. Gig bag, 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 gig bag. What a weird word, isn't it? Yeah, just isn't that weird? Yeah, it's weird. Last one. Can you play us out on the on the? Yes, darling. That was a lovely guitar, that Taylor, wasn't it? This is nice as well. I haven't played a uh, uh, nylon string guitar for a long time. Beautiful. T -t 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 Taylor. So, Ooh. so this that is now a. Um, I think that is that would be. Leave the same effect. I really like that. 
Ah. Ah. Try to tune it first. And once you've done that, take that out. That's so cool, isn't it? It's all in one little thing here with a tune and everything. And again, this one has got your tuner. So if you're looking down, sorry, you can't see okay. it. That's got the tuner as well. Little equalizer, all the source guitar. So this, you can't choose your, uh, your target guitar. You just choose which one you've got. Basically. Oh man, I love it. Yeah, it's good. I it? love having. I mean, you never know. You might, you might need all the. You could have use for like these effects and these sounds. Yeah. Better than bringing about a million things. And I uh, would. I would definitely. I would spend the money on the big one, the extra hundred. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that would be worth it. So always. That was the uh, Sum Acoustic Creator AC2 and AC3, and links um, below. Links below. Check them out. Cool guitars. That's the Sigma. Taylor. Uh, this is Taylor 14, 114. And, and this is a uh, 858. It's all in the shop right now. All in the shop right now. My name is Pete. And Ariel. And thank you for watching Acoustic Parodies or here on Anderson's TV. Nice. Can you take us out, please, darling? Yes, sir. See you next time. <laughs>